record session so that we can send the video to you for replay. Hi, Anthony. If uh, this is Anthony from Australia. Okay, so uh, my name is Bini. I'm from Singapore, right now at Singapore. So um, the topic is that I'm going to do is uh, stop being washed and means by the market. Right, so I'm just going to explain a little bit of a frustrating phenomena that you might experience. Okay, so I won't um, delay the session, just quickly flash through the chart, all right, with um, a bit of a disclaimer here. Okay, and then a bit of myself. This is how I look um, because it's nighttime in Singapore, eight, so I just bathed. So my hair is messy right now, etc. So I decided not to show myself and show a recent version of me. Okay, so I'm like you guys um, in Singapore. So I'm doing a lot of uh, um, trading. All right, so the alien watch is something that I've designed. Okay, so it's particularly to tap into, uh, you know, the phenomena called watch and means. All right. Okay, now uh, I think that most of you could be in already. So let me just continue to admit you guys. Now just talk about a little bit about my trading profile. Right, so time right now it's uh, 8, 12 in Singapore. So I usually I wake up very early in the morning. So uh, that's to do my exercise. And I look at the Singapore market. I trade into the Singapore futures, right, which is uh, Kosimsky. Then I move into the Hong Kong market. So Hong Kong market, usually I will do stocks. Okay. Then um, at about 1 p.m. to 2 p.m., all right, so that Singapore time, I'll be looking at the Forex. Uh, Forex is my main instrument, actually, because uh, Forex for, for in the morning, it doesn't really move a lot. So when it comes to about where the European uh, market opens, that's about Singapore time, 1 to 2 p.m. So I'll be looking into the Forex and into the crypto. So crypto is another instrument that I'm trading, as well as into the commodity. So I trade basically quite a, a huge portfolio. All right, so I trade mostly four hours, meaning that uh, four hours is something that I've traded. So if you can't get audio, uh, please come in and come out and connect because uh, at this side here, I'm actually hearing my own myself quite well. Okay, so please activate your audio. All right, so uh, four hours is what I'm trading. I'm doing a lot of um, uh, partial automations. Okay, what is partial automations? It means that um, I received alert notifications and the system would um, you know, scan the trades for me. And after that, right, based on whatever that has been picked up, I will do my own analysis. And then after that, I'll be looking at um, a four-hour entry. So four-hour entry means that, for example, for Singapore time, we are talking about uh, 1 p.m. as an entry or 2 p.m. right now for the uh, daylight saving. And then another one will be uh, 6 p.m. And coming up, right, for us would be at 10 uh, p.m. Okay, so that's usually the three time slots that I'm trading. Okay, so either I can take a trade immediately, let's say in the next four hours, which I did for the uh, pound trade, the long pound trade uh, today that happens at 2 p.m. Singapore time. So I've taken profit already because that moved very well. Or I can stay in a trade for a few days. So that's my profile. Right, I'm doing partial automation, meaning that I will decide what to trade. That means I will decide that, for example, out of all the pound trades I receive, like a long pound kiwi or pound cat today, then uh, I will be looking at, um, you know, going long whichever pairs that I've analyzed. But um, the whole method, why is it partial automation? Because there's quite a lot of um, uh, filtering in the indicators that I want to introduce to you, all right? Um, there should be audio. So Daniel, if you can um, just come out, uh, go, go out and then come back in, okay? Thanks a lot for that. All right, now, um, today I will be talking about wash and rinse and why wash and rinse often resulted in explosive move. And then there will be a free trial for you. That means that if you like to, you can take the Alien Wash V3 indicator, which I've designed. Right, so that will be the agenda for today. All right. Now, question to you. All right, there's a chat box here. I hope that you can interact with me. Are you often stop out first and then to find that your trade move in the original direction? Do you have this experience? Often trade out first and then to find that it moved in the original direction. 
Don't have this experience before? Okay. So sometimes we will blame, blame the broker and then we will say, that, hey, look, you know, is it that you have flashed my stock? Um, is it uh, that you purposely trip my stock? These are things that we always question, right? But sometimes it might not be true. Okay. So let me just share this um, chart with you to explain what is wash and rinse. All right. At this blue color arrow here, okay, blue color arrow. Now, what would you likely uh, be going to do? All right. Are you likely to long or to short? I know that you don't know what chart is that, what trade that is and what time frame, but you know, just give it a bit of a try. Are you likely to go long or go short at around the blue arrow? What do you think? Yeah, long, okay. Yes, right. I, I know that I have some responses. Some of you were looking at long. Now, one of the reasons could be because um, you saw that there was a previous resistance, okay, all right, and then there was a, um, you know, a, a previous support here, so around here, you might be thinking of going long, all right, there will be few things such as, you're going to see this, this could be a pin bar, all right, or you can call this a hammer, all right, or you can just um, uh, see a bit of a bullish reaction here, Right. So you might be thinking of actually going long. And if you're going long, where would be a likely stop loss that you're going to put? Okay, You might be saying that I, I want to put at the pin bar low here, for example. Or you might just want to put just slightly lower here. Okay, Because then there's a basis, right? Price has been stopping at around this level here. Okay, So, you know, these are... Uh, also trades that might happen to you such that if you're going to put the stop loss here, you might also realize that, you know, sometimes no matter how far stop loss, stop loss that you put, it might just move down sub that, that to trade like this, okay? So we had the blue color arrow here, all right? So that's like a place for you to consider to go long. But subsequently what happened, it just move up a little bit and then close back down so much, okay? So no matter how much of a stop loss that you put in, okay, it will probably just flush your stop. Now, not only that, some people might be looking at this place as a support, all right? And then a support is broken, all right? Now, that might be a trick. A support is broken. And, you know, they might be going short on the break of the support. But soon after that, as it moves slightly a little bit, you realize that it just move up. Okay. And, and that move, right? This is all right. And that move actually move quite tr tremendously. From this move, it moved like $80. So what I'm trying to say is that these are very obvious places. So some people might be putting in a long trade. And then you realize that it really actually moved much only after what we call a wash and rinse has happened. So what is the definition of wash and rinse, right? Price has been purposely pushed down like this. Okay, let me just draw that. Purposely pushed down like this. And after that, it just bounced the way up, okay? So that is how we define as a wash and rinse, okay? So later, I will define that properly for you. Now, um. Another reason why price might stop at this level to move up was because there could be some other better support out there, like what I've drawn in here, which is at this location. Okay, so wash and rinse would be um, trades uh, where you find that these are very, very obvious levels and it would trap people to do an action that is normal, usual, such as you have a pin bar and then you have a bullish reaction, but who knows that price actually flashed down further, all right, into and entering into another support area. And after flashing that, price will mysteriously move up like nothing ever happened, like what's happening inside here, okay? So when we define as a wash, we define wash as a fake move that often result in losses. And the rinse is a subsequent 
moved in your original direction. The result would be the retailers always lose money and the professionals gain. I won't define who are the professionals. I would just say that they belong to the other group that we thought that they might be specially tripping stop, but it is not so right now anymore. You realize that wash and rinse often moves in um, specific places and specific routine. Okay, so another question before I talk about how to trigger, how to trade this wash and means, another question at the blue color arrow here, all right, where we have white color, are you likely to go long or go short? This is not a trick question because then it might be actually moving up. Okay, so think in terms of your psychology. When you take a look at this white color candle here, that's pointed by the blue arrow. Are you likely to go long or go short? How about the rest of you? Okay, nothing. We make an intelligent guess, right? I mean, if you take a look at the trend, so the trend could be um, going up like this. Let me just get my point out. Okay, so oh, I'm supposed to hide that. So let me just you know take a look at the trend here. So it's it looks like going up trend, right? Something like this here. Okay, and then what happened, right? So if you if you look at this, right? Some people at the white color arrow here, a white color candle here, they might be looking at a recent break above the previous high like this. Or in fact, that there was a break above the previous high. All right. So that might result them to go long. Okay. In fact, that it seems so valid because in the past, whenever we see a white color candle and it breaks a bit of a higher, all right, like this, and it breaks above a bit of a higher, it always come down a little bit and then moved up. Okay. So this could be the trend where people are talking about. Okay, but what I'm pointing out right here is that take a look at this blue color candle here. All right, the one with the blue arrow. Now this candle looks very bullish in a way. All right, why is it so? It's not like a typical reaction where we're going to have a dodgy or a typical reaction where there is um, not a full body. In fact, that is actually quite a full body. But if you look left a little bit, you realize that this candle has been pushed. The keyword is called pushed, okay? It has been pushed into a zone of a resistant, previous resistance that you might have seen it, but to some other people, they might not have seen it already, okay? However, if we when we talk about automations, meaning that we talk about that there are some automations out there, I'm sure that the automations or the machines are able to see all these levels, all right? So when the wash and rinse happen, let me just clean this. When the wash and rinse happen, all right, right now, a lot of push is not, it's into what we call a full bar, okay? A full white bar or full black color bar, okay? So it's no longer doing the old traditional candlestick where we're going to have a dodgy or we're going to have a inside bar anymore. All right. A lot of time when price are being pushed right into a resistance that you can't see, that push is always very much near to a full bar. Okay. So when we trade wash and rinse, what we always do is that we will ask ourselves, when price has gone up above it, right, and if it can be um, successful by moving up, we will always be looking at the previous bar, all right, before that full bar, and we will draw just one line, okay, a simple line like this, okay? So this is a very simple line. Now, we call this line a wash line, okay? Now, our definition of wash and rinse is that as long as price can close above that wash line and stay above this wash line, it will continue to move up. But what happens if price cannot stay above this wash line? Then there is a chance for it to topple, especially when it is near to a previous high, which is a known level. Okay, so I'm just gonna show you what happened. Just give me a minute. Okay, as you expected. All right, price actually moves down from here. Okay, so this is a very, very common pattern that you're going to find a lot of places, including, um, you know, if you, if you trade Bitcoin uh, today, 
all right, or maybe like a few days ago, you realize that Bitcoin will display the same pattern. I'm just going to talk about that. All right, so I'm just going to draw in the wash line. So our definition of a wash and rinse is that whenever price had a close above the previous high, okay, like this, right? But if price cannot stay above this line here, which is called wash line, so this bar would be regarded as a rinse bar. So this would be a wash bar. Now this would be a rinse bar. Okay, all right. So far, any question? Okay, now next is that, let me just continue the, the, the presentation. All right, okay. Now you can see the full picture right now. All right, so what we have is that I have indicated here that plots in this thick red color uh, marking, as long as it's red color marking, all right, so that becomes a wash and rinse, okay? So you realize uh, what I want you to observe is that to look at price in a very different manner right now, all right? So whenever, before it moved down, price will always do this action of a push up, Okay, push up. Okay, so we're going to draw in this wash line here. That means that whenever there's a push up, we're going to draw a, a, a horizontal level before on the bar high before, all right, uh, before the, the push up bar. And if price cannot stay above it like this, then that becomes a rinse. Okay, so this one will become the wash and then this becomes the rinse. All right, so next one is the let's again take a look at this push up here. Right, so price cannot stay above the previous high, and in fact, that it rings back down. Right, so that becomes a wash and rinse. Okay, so when we draw a bearish wash and rinse, right, it means that we will have one bar here, and then price has been pushed up. All right, then we will just draw simply a horizontal line. If price goes back down, that becomes a rinse. So this one will be a wash, and then this is a rinse. Okay. All right, now let's talk about the buy side. So for example, if I have price being pushed down, so this is the place where that's being pushed down, what I have to do is just to draw a horizontal line, simple horizontal line, okay? And then when price goes up, that becomes my uh, reads, okay? So I know that the time frame question will come out. Now what is profitable, all right, most mostly for us in terms of catch, capturing a big move, okay? Such as, for example, like uh, today we had the pound cat in just four hours, we had about 60 to 80 pips or pound kiwi 60 to 80 pips, or we have, for example, Bitcoin, we did about um, a few thousand dollars in terms of the short, all right? So we usually we spot that wash and rinse in a day chart, but we trade that in a four hour, okay? So that's the time frame that we are looking at. That means to spot for the wash and rinse, all right, at the day chart, and then to trade that in the four hourly, or if you want, you can fine tune that to the one hour, but I don't recommend that, okay? So just give me a minute, okay. Well, I'll clear that and answer uh, some of the questions later on, okay? So I continue to just introduce the wash and rinse so they understand how it, it's being used. Okay, let's continue this one here. Now, this is a trade. So again, let me just ask you one question because wash and rinse can be anywhere, everywhere. Right? But what we do is that I want you to know that um, a lot of time, there's a lot of trick in the market and trading is no longer the same in my perspective. Right? Um, many times when you are, when price is known to key level, key level, right? A lot of, uh, uh, a lot of wash and rinse activity can happen here. So let me just go through this trade all right, that, that just happened, okay? It just happened without telling you what is it, all right? Um, and let me know what you're going to do at that blue color arrow, okay? At the blue color arrow, okay, what are you going to do? Likely to go long or go short? Or to buy or sell? What do you think? Just give me a um, response. Long, okay. All right, so this is a typical breakout trade. 
Uh, you can't sit because uh, sometimes you want to sit, but then we have a bias, I understand. That's probably a bit of a, like a, uh, how to say, uh, trick questions that you might think, okay? But I just want to, want, um, you know, probably to observe a little bit. You realize that uh, many times when it's at key levels, okay, such as this, okay, key levels, the market will long, no longer behave as what we expect it to do. They would go a little bit overbought. Okay, overbought means that um, it will just shoot past or go past to display that seriously very, very bullish behavior, right? As if that all the levels are being cleared, especially when you have a little bit of a headline being added to it, okay? Um, then, it's going to make this like thoroughly very, very bullish. Okay. But when you are coming into this very obvious level, for example, right, then this kind of things can happen. And this is very recent. Okay. This trade that we did, all right, on a wash and read was into Bitcoin. Okay. And as you know, the headline, Bitcoin just uh, reached um, about 60,000. Okay, but near to very important key levels, then you're going to find that this wash and rinse, it does happen. All right, so how do we define that wash? All right, then you're going to see as price closed above a previous high, we are going to, uh, let me just get the pen, okay? We are going to draw in the wash line here and then price close back down, okay? So I, I understand that where I enter, we enter not on the close of the day. We do not enter on the close of the day, what we do is that we enter interim here, all right, in a four hour breakdown, okay? So by entering at the close of the day, it's gonna be too slow already because the stop loss is gonna be too wide, okay? But most important is to expect, for example, that a wash and rinse can happen here, all right? So next, next question to you, right now, this is live the Bitcoin, okay? I just extracted this chart because I just took profit from Bitcoin. Anybody shorted Bitcoin around this place here? Yes, I enter on the rinse bar. Anybody shot the Bitcoin at this place here? Nobody? Okay, so for example, if we take a look at right now, this one in, in, in Bitcoin, right? So are you thinking of going short or going long? At this place where really we have no guidance here. What do you think? You know that there's not a trick questions already. Right, because then um, I also don't know what's in the future. Okay, but you know what I can share is that there is a very known level here, which is a horizontal level. All right, near to a support. Yes, correct. The horizontal level here, near to a support. Okay, near to this one here. So probably for us, we are putting on another thinking cap. All right, and we are thinking that if there's a wash and means around here, we might actually want to go long. Okay, so it's a bit of a contrarian uh, way of trading wash and rinse. A lot of people might just see the Bitcoin at the high here and put in a sell limit. That means that just by looking at that level and to think that, hey, look, you know, there's going to be a very, very strong level here. But the market is also very smart. What they know is that they know they're going to do that. So when they flash a stop, they're going to flash it so much higher. So for example, we had, you know, Bitcoin having a high here, but it went a little bit higher to even flush some more stops before making this wash and rinse. Okay, so um, in my experience, there is really no way for us to manage the trade with a stop. What we can do to prevent that wash and rinse uh, being happening to your account is to do one thing, is to wait for the wash and rinse to happen. That means that wait for the washed, expect that a wash might happen and then trade when it rains back down, okay? So I'm just going to continue with this one to illustrate a few things about this. Okay, now let's take, up, let's take a look at the next one here. Now, because of activity where a lot of automations happen, you realize that right now, a lot of trading range is easily exhausted, okay? Versus if you have been trading, let's say, 10 years ago, right? A lot of time when price moves down, Okay, it, it's usually moved down in a very fast manner and it moved up in a very fast manner. 
Okay, or for example, it moved up and then moved down in a very fast manner, right? So when this happens, trading range gets easily exhausted and not many, not, we, we, we start to get a lot of time where we have a lot of what we call double bars. Okay, what are double bars? Later I'll show it to you. Uh, a full white bar that goes up and a full black bar that comes down. Okay, something like that. Okay, but where are the best places to look for wash and rinse? Okay, the best places would be at strong levels. Okay, now let me just ask you another question. What do you see here? What pattern do you see here? Range, yes. And any pattern that you might be seeing here? Yeah. Definitely, you might be seeing a head and shoulder pattern here. For example, this is a shoulder. That's the head and then a right shoulder. All right. All right. So a normal behavior would be to short on the neckline of this um, you know, head and shoulder pattern. So some people might be drawing in a neckline here. Okay. And for example, a neckline here, right? And we have you see this black color bar. For example, this black color bar, you would be waiting for yourself. Okay. All right. So definitely you'll be waiting for yourself. All right. And you probably know that because I presented it here, there would be a wash and rinse somewhere. That means that by right, it should be a sell. And because I presented it here, you know that it could be a buy. Okay. But I mean, let's talk about really in terms of trading behavior, all right? So such very obvious levels here, such as this break, might really attract people to go and sell it. Okay, so that's something like a truth, okay? So some people might, might be looking at, for example, um, to let it break and then to sell on a pullback. So there could be some strategy here, all right? But if you take a look at the other's perspective, all right, that means to look to the left, you also realize a few things. One, if I'm going to just put a horizontal line here, that could be a support level, okay? Meaning that, all right, so this was a previous high and a previous high that could be a support level. And in fact, with this very, very bearish bar, the support level could be actually broken and a lot of people might, might be looking in to go and sell it, okay? But what happens is that when a level is being very, very obvious, and that's where a wash and rinse is very likely to happen. Okay, I'm not saying that you can't sell on this breakout. I'm just saying that if you can, expect that wash and rinse to happen. And if it happens, then you can turn the other side. Okay, so this is the actual outcome of the trade. Okay, now if you take a look at this outcome here, so this was that very, very bearish black bar. So uh, no matter how you're going to draw in that uh, support or resistance line, it might seem to break, it might seem not to. Okay? But what is very common right now is that the market is showing this full black bar or near to full black bar, the first one that I'm drawing in here. So let me just mark that for you. Okay, So this one, I'm just call, going to call this one. And then the other bar that is totally white, almost like nothing happened. So that's number two, okay? So for us, we would see this as a wash. And if price cannot close below it, right? Then, and it closed back up. So number two will becomes a read, okay? Now take a look at this um, green color bar here. So this is plotted by Tor V3, where it automatically shows you that wash and reads behavior, all right? So it gave us two buy signal, all right? at the close of the day to tell us only one thing, all right? If you have shorted, you have shorted right into a support. That's a very common trick, all right? And then um, no matter what stop loss you're going to have, you can't help it because then price is just going to flush, you know, that stop loss you're going to have, okay? But more important is that to recognize that if you have failed in your short, then there could be a support coming in and to recognize that is a washed and rinse happening, which is the buy side. Okay, so where is that buy for us? Take a look at this place here. This uh, black color candle. So that's, I'm just going to mark it as, as um, one here. All right. And then the other one here, I'm just going to mark it as two. 
Okay. Do you see that two actually closed below the previous low? One didn't, but two did. All right. So when price reversed the other side, this candle here, okay, which is the one that I'm going to mark it with R, becomes our Rins bar. So we have two entry. One would be at this point here, this becomes our Rins bar, and then that becomes our wash. All right. The other one is here, which is being plotted by shown by the green uh, color. Okay. So wash and Rins happens at key level, very obvious levels. And this was Bitcoin. And with this, we actually gotten about 20,000 for the Bitcoin trade. Because why? One thing I want to bring up, right? Now, in the wash and Rins activity, they, it, they involved many parties. Okay. What are the parties which are involved here? Number one, people who traded on this breakout, meaning that if they see this as a support and they traded on this breakout here, okay? So people who traded on this breakout, which is to go short, by the time when price reverse and turn against them, they would be scrambling to, to exit their position, okay? So there will be also another group who might be trading on a strong support here. That means they see this as a strong support. They're just waiting to buy here for Bitcoin. Okay, so that's the second group. Now, the third group will be people who have artificially depressed price, okay, to push price down. So when you have these three groups of people who interacted at this wash and rinse area, then price will be explosive upwards. And this is the reason why I like to trade with wash and rinse. And you realize that many times in wash and rinse, you realize, for example, you see this, this uh, red color um, arrow here or this arrow here, right? So it just says that there's a wash and rinse at the end of the day, but we trade in the mid of the bar in the four hour, right? And you will see it's often accompanied with explosive behavior, okay? Why? Because then in a wash and rinse, there are people who actually are losing money, okay? Because they are on the wrong side, okay? Okay, let's continue. All right, so let me just clean this for a while. Okay. So the second place to look for wash and rinse would be what we call a multiple time frame. So a lot of people say, hey, look, I want to trade with the trend. All right, so then what is the definition of a trend? So that's very difficult to know, right? But what we can identify is that if there is a key resistance level here, for example, all right, then price was being pushed up. Okay. So as I explained right now, a lot of time, we are no longer seeing dodgies. Okay. We are seeing a lot of what we call a double bar, where bars has been pushed right up. It's as if that the breakout is so strong, but it's being slammed the other side. So yes, there was a wash of winds here. Okay. Then how about this one where it pointed to an up arrow? Okay. So why, why is it that when this wash and winds which, which is to the sell side, when it happened, it didn't generate a lot of money. Now, why is it that this one exploded upwards? Okay, any idea? Some of you might be saying, hey, look, you know, uh, I, I know what you're looking at because then there could be a horizontal level here, all right, like this. Okay. But a lot of time, when you want to find explosive wash and means trade, right, it would be where you're going to have a trade, right, that is with the higher time frame. Okay, that means that for this trade, what we do is to look for a good wash and beans, we actually trade in the direction of the higher time frame. So for example, not only that we are trading on a day chart, we are also trading in the direction of the week chart. Okay, so for example, when you see a cluster of green colors, because I like to color code my trades, all right, when you see a cluster of green colors, realize that the week has already turned positive, turned bullish already, All right? So what I did is that at this point, where is the um, green arrow here? So this is green arrow. The wash was this bar. So this bar was that wash. Let me just get the pointer. Okay, so this bar was the wash. Okay, so that's a W. So this one was the rinse, okay? But this wash and rinse happened when the week has already turned bullish, okay? So not only that it was a previous high as giving us that wash and rinse trade, now this trade where, when it exploded, where exploded upwards was what we call a with the trend trade. That means we are not only trading in a day, we are trading in a direction of the week. So we do trade the multiple time frame. 
okay, for the wash and rinse, so to catch this kind of uh, explosive movement. All right. So next, another one more of where you want to look for wash and rinse and a very common questions until now is that people might think that wash and rinse is a candlestick pattern. Okay, the answer is no, it is actually more flexible and comprehensive because we are able to quantify a wash and rinse. Okay, so in the same um, trade as what um, we traded in dollar yen. So this was dollar, this is this was dollar yen in the weekly chart. Just now, when I showed you dollar yen, we were trading somewhere around here. Okay, so this was that dollar yen. All right, we were trading somewhere around here in the day chart. So let me just quickly go upright to show it to you on a day chart. So this one was dollar yen. So this was a day chart. We were trading somewhere inside here on our buy entry. Okay, for that wash and rinse. All right. Now, why are we so confident in this trade? So that's because right, this whole part here was a wash and rinse in the higher time frame chart. That means that in the weekly chart, it was already a wash and rinse. Okay, so the difference between wash and rinse and candlestick, it is not a candlestick, but it's something where we can quantify. So let me just show that to you. Okay, so here we go. This is the weekly chart of dollar yen. Just now, when I circled that, the whole part here was that wash and rinse. Okay, so the wash and rinse, this whole part, the where does it come from? All right, now take a look at where price had a close below the previous low. So that was that weekly bar. Now, even when price kept inching downwards, there wasn't any close that's below the previous low. So we treated this whole chunk as a possible wash and rinse area. So when price actually closed up that wash line, see that wash line here, which plotted in this green color arrow, so let me just show you the green color arrow here. So this one, so this was a wash and rinse that can be quantified. How to quantify that? This wash and rinse encompasses how many weeks? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10, approximately about 10 weeks of a weekly pattern here. So therefore with this quanti quanti uh, to quantify that, once we're able to quantify that, so this becomes an explosive explosive trade for us. Why? Because then with, with this portion here, it means that the price has been depressed for 10 weeks or so. Okay, And finally, it's finally broke above that. So therefore, our indicator pointed this green color wash and reads. Okay. All right. So just to clear this up, that wash and reads is not a uh, candlestick pattern. All right. Although it does resemble candlestick pattern, but the way that when we apply it is a lot more flexible, okay? All right, now, um, again, uh, let's talk about why is wash and rinse often explosive, all right? So take a look at this bar here, all right? Now, without, with, with hindsight, we know that eventually it's a down, okay? That means that eventually it's moved down. But as I explained right now, whenever it approaches key level, such as this key level here, I'm just trying to get this one. Okay, key level here. When it moves up, that candle is often very solid, like as if you know, um, it's so bullish. But many times, people might be looking at one level and then to enter along here. Could be okay. They are looking at the candlestick pattern and looking at how bullish it is, they'll be making a long, right? But, you know, if we look left a little bit, you realize that that's potentially one more level here, which is actually this spike high. So levels are everywhere, right? But if we can have the mindset of wash and means, you realize that price paused here for a few days. And finally, what happened? It generated this sell for us, which is the wash and means. And where is that wash and means? All right, so this was the wash line and price actually closed down for us, resulting this whole chunk as a wash and rinse, and it's valid to, to, to have a sell. Why is that so? Because then if we, if we take a look at the past, then definitely that's a resistance, and then that's a resistance as well. Okay, So in the market, it is not that people are flushing the trades. It might be. They might be people who are flushing the trades, but I think that there's a lot of fake move, artificial move to create that seriously very bullish scenario or very bearish scenario right now 
and flip the other side totally. Okay, so for example, you, you just un understand what I'm trying to say. So it seems that Euro is totally very bullish here because of this long bar. And we are thinking that, hey, look, perhaps the Euro is going to reverse. But who knows, it would just flip the other side totally and then erase that bullish behavior. Like nothing ever happened. Okay, so the other aspect of wash and rinse is that, for example, I'm going to have this key level here. All right, so people can see this key level as a support. Right. But these key levels are often broken no matter how much stock that you're going to put it in. Okay, So for example, this one was a full bar that closed down near to the full bar. Okay, When it flipped the other side, you realize that the indicator draw in this green color thick here. So that shows a wash and rinse. And after people are being stopped out, you know, why are people being stopped out? Because some people might see this as a support and go short here. And I flip the other side and that's where it's often explosive. Okay, so few things I want to share today, All right? The market is totally very different in my perspective because any moves are not um, kind. They are often very extreme. So this extreme move cause a lot of stops being triggered, okay, being stopped. But can we stop it from happening, from, from triggering the stop? I don't think we can. But what we can is to recognize that wash and means behavior happened and is happening and will always happen, all right? And then we'll be looking at to trade the reverse, okay? So let me just ask you one more question, all right? So what do you think of this? Do you think this is going to be very bullish or do you think there's going to be a wash and reads? How about the rest? We don't know, okay? But what we can do is we can draw a line, okay? Just a very simple line, right? We can just draw a horizontal line like this, okay? So this is called a wash line. Okay, so with this horizontal line, if price continue to stay upwards, fine. Okay, but if price comes back down here, so that becomes our wash and rinse already. Okay, and we don't know when it's going to happen, but at least we are not going to try to put in our stop right at here or anywhere higher because we know that it can definitely flush the upside and then our stops can be flushed out. All right, so um, trades can. can you don't look at trades like, like what and how in the past that we look at it. We always look at trades in the reverse that thinking that there could be a wash and means and that might help us a lot to get to prevent ourselves from getting trapped. Okay. All right. So let me just continue this one here. All right now, next question. All right. A lot of you guys will be asking, do you have any failures? Actually, yes, we have. Okay. So take a look at this trick here where we did in terms of oil, right? So let me just go through um, the oil here at this part, okay, at this small little uh, box here that I've highlighted. Do you see this um, red color arrow? Okay. All right. So that's to us, which is a bearish um, wash and rinse. All right. Why is that so? Because price has been pushed up. See that? So that's your pot 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 potential wash. And then um, you're going to draw a horizontal line. And when it comes back down, price has been pushed down. Okay, so that is a wash and reads. All right. So in fact, that we've gone short on this particular trade. But soon what happened, ourselves are being actually wash and reads. Okay, because this black color bar all right, didn't really move down. What it did was it hit into a weekly level that we map out here. And we knew that our trade was might be wrong if price is to rinse back up. So in turn, when price moves down, this becomes our wash, all right? And then this becomes our rinse. Take a look at this um, green color arrow here. So that becomes our rinse, okay? So we will stop out once when we attempted to short in line with the trade trend. And when it when tilt the other side, when, when it actually turned the other side, what we did was that we knew that we were actually wash and means earlier. And this one became the wash bar. The other white color bar became the rinse bar. Okay, so what we did was actually went long. So the key thing about wash and means is that, yes, when we are trading in the trade where it's about to turn, 
Okay, so that becomes a place where we might get it wrong. But if you realize that a lot of time when we have it wrong, then the stop loss is going to be minimal because the subsequent move is going to be a lot explosive. Okay, so that's where we have a very high reward to reach. So yes, we're going to get wrong signal in a wash and wins. But if we flip the other side, that, that wash and wins becomes our entry all right, for the reverse. Okay, so this is something that I want to be very frank with you because then um, not all system, not all ways of trading is going to result in a profitable trade. Okay, so for example, even it happened here. All right, so there was a bearish wash and then there was a rings that moved up. Okay, but we knew that this, this cell wasn't good because we have a series of a um, green color lines coming in. That means that the higher time frame, which is the weekly chart, is actually pointing up already. So that gives us a bit of a warning to be careful about this wash and rinse trade. All right. Okay, now here we go. So um, next question is that you are always, always showing in the day time frame. Isn't it too slow? Yes, you are right. So what we do is that um, we have you know, a couple of things in place where the entire TOR system, the alien wash system, all right, the one that you're seeing is what we call the TOR 3.0. This, this indicator will draw the wash and means, okay? But what we do is that we will break down the, the trade into every four hours. Okay, meaning that we will look at what happened every four hours and we, we will just trade accordingly. Okay, and we also segment our trades into what we call boxes so that we can break the trades in the lower time frame. All right. And then we have um, lines that can draw the wash lines in all time frames so we can trade the uh, trend following or the mean revision trade. So let me just show it to you. So first one is that, as I explained, right, a lot of my trades are um, automated. Okay, automated in the sense that they're all being uh, pushed to me. So I don't really look at the charts um, and stare at the charts, but what I do is that I have all these trades being pushed to me so that I know exactly every four hours there could be some wash and means activity. Okay, so for example, take a look at the one that's being highlighted in yellow. All right, so these are the uh, trades that show a four hour wash and means and um, every four hour, it will just pop up that there's a possible wash and means in the direction of the day, okay? So time, time here was about 1 p.m., okay? So 1 p.m. was before the daylight saving. So one minute ago, all right, which, is, which was at one o'clock, one minute ago, right? So there was, a, for example, a buy signal in dollar sync and a buy signal in uh, Euro Aussie. So I rely a lot on automations to push me all these trades so that I know every four hours when um, certain trades has a, have a wash and win. So we call this the tall dashboard. All right. Now, um, so these trades are being pushed and um, they are being sent every four hours. Okay. So for example, we have the H4 close. All right. That's above, let's say a particular level and that becomes our entry. So we to answer the question earlier, we do not trade on the close of the day, okay? On close of the day, it is going to be slow and we're going to miss out a huge portion. What we do is that we trade when priced is in the middle, all right? That means we break the time frame up into every four hours and we trade into each of the four hours, all right? So my main trading time, I mean time for Singapore time is about... 1 p.m., right now 2 p.m., 6 p.m., and 10, 8, 10 p.m. that's going to come in. So I only trade about three um, time in a day, three time slot in a day, okay? So that's every four hours, all right? Okay, next, um, just to show you what, how we trade that, how we enter the trade. So we enter the trade in every four hours, and then we segment uh, our trades into boxes. Okay, so for example, this is the boxes that you're going to see. So we call this the auto box. So we segment it up and then we're going to draw the wash lines um, that we saw in the higher time frame and to plot it into a four hour time frame. So this is a four hour time frame. So for example, um, just to show you the uh, dollar yen trade. So dollar yen trade, um, there was a sell here. So we actually shot it here. Can you guys see that there's this wash and win? So price has been pushed up 
and then it rings back down. So that becomes our signal here to sell. Okay. So again, we have another one more signal to buy, bullish signal for dollar yen, also on a H4 close. But where is the wash? Take a look at this bar here. All right, price has been washed down, okay, but it hit right into a support. Okay, so that was the previous support, right? And then uh, when price rings back up, so that's the rings, and that's where we enter our trade. All right, um, that's another one more here. So this was another one more alert that was being pushed to us at, um, unfortunately, it's Singapore time 1 a.m. So we didn't have, if I'm awake, then I get to trade that. Um, I mean, for you guys in another time zone, if you're awake, then you awake, you get to trade that. But, you know, um, price has been pushed up. Okay, you can see that push here that we're going to draw the wash line and that's where we shot it. Okay, all right. Um, same thing, uh, we had this dollar yen trade. So this was the wash line here. And then after that, it rinse back up, then we go long. Okay, so I sell on the close of the rinse bar. Uh, the close of the rinse bar in our definition is a one day close, day close. So the idea is no, okay? We sell in the, in between the interim before the day has closed. So this would um, you know, result in a trade where you're going to have very, very tight stop loss like this, tight stop loss. And when it explodes upwards, then we're going to get a lot more money. Okay, So selling in a um, day close is slow. But what we do is in order to get that explosive trades where many times our trades are in the range profit, huh? in the range of 60, 100, 120, 200 sometimes, all right, then we would to do that to achieve that we will be trading in a day. Okay. All right. So let me just continue on. So just to sum up, we don't do not trade on the close of the um, day. We trade on the close of a four hourly bar. All right. Okay. So uh, you can use this in almost any instrument so for example this is a chart right which is on nasdaq so nasdaq one of the trade that we did was price was originally downtrend already all right you see that price has been pushed up so this to us is a wash bar so we just draw a rings wash line and then we trade that downwards and it's it's it exploded downwards here very nicely okay so if you want you can use it for your stocks as well for your cryptos your forex commodities whether it's gold or oil we can also trade that we also had a recent trade in oil which i can show it to you all right so just to sum up right what you can do right now because there's a limitation in terms of time in terms of what I can do, but you can take the free module where in the course, I will explain clearly how to, um, how to identify the wash and rinse pattern, all right, um, and then where to find a good support level. So this, this is totally free. In fact, that, um, uh, I mean, I arranged that with Blueberry. I know that some of you are, are Blueberry's customers, and then some of you might not be trading with them. So, you know, especially made also available for Blueberry customers where you're going to get this uh, uh, module one for free, okay? Now, second is that for this session, um, I have this Tor indicator, which is an MT5 version. That is something that we are using, right? It is to plot that tick and the arrow. So we're going to have it for you for free for a trial. Okay, so that's also specially for Blueberry customers, right? So what you can do, number one, is to go to the website and get the free course. Okay, it's totally zero charge. Just take it. You realize that I explained like the wash and rinse phenomenon, why uh, wash and rinse can be applied to the different market and what does a wash and rinse pattern look like and how to increase the strength and then how to trade the wash and rinse. Okay, so that's number one. Number two is they go and get the free trial, indicator trial, right? So that's an MT5 version, right? Now, um, lastly, if you want to get the rest of the indicator or you want to have the, um, uh, uh, the, the full strategy of how to trade that, then you can get the module two, which is an add-on to the first module. All right, so that's $700. Sing dollar. And the good thing is that right now, Blueberry is fully refunding the cost fee as a cash. 
meaning that at the end of the day, it will be zero cost to you. So let me just give me just another two minutes to talk about what is being available here. All right, then we're gonna, I'm going to give you the link. And then if you're interested and you have time, we're going to stay and to take a look at some of the live trades we have today. Okay, so um, to fully understand the tall cost, which is the alien wash cost, you need module one and module two. All right. So what I what we did is that we make available module one so that we want to let people people who are trading out there to know that there's this thing called wash and reads. All right. Um, it's not that the breakout method is uh, outdated. It's just that right now things are very different, especially with automations. Because I also work with hedge funds and then uh, family office, etc., to program. Um, their system for them, all right? So we work as a team and then I have clients and these clients are actually huge in terms of their trading funds, okay? So when we program for them, there's a lot of things that we, we, that we program for them that are very sophisticated and a lot of retail markets can't catch up with whatever that they are doing, all right? So we are offering right now the module one to let you guys know what is wash and means. But if you want to know what is module two, exactly on how we put in the trade, where we're going to put in the trade, unfortunately, this is payable, right? So payable at uh, $700, where it includes uh, all the indicators that you're going to see in my chart, such as the Autobot, um, the Tor MTF, as well as the dashboard that is going to get your alerts. Okay. Um, in terms of the course, is an online course, meaning that you can attend the lesson, you can watch the lesson as many times as you want. So you can just do the lesson for any, as many times as, as and any time that you want to. All right. So with this, we include what we call a 12-month support. All right. We call this support called the alien room. Okay. So it's a full full suite of support, right, where you're going to have the indicators, all right, for 12 months. If you are very profitable after 12 months, you learn everything, you don't need the indicators, then you don't need to pay for it anymore. Okay, we're going to have also the tall um, signal, which is the day close that is being broadcast to the Telegram, all right, and then you're going to have a twice weekly webinar, all right, um, that we're going to do every uh, week, right? So I just did one webinar where we talk about trades just now with my group. All right, so one of the trades that we did is actually pound. Okay, so we can, we can take a look at the pound trades uh, later on. And of course, uh, Facebook support group and trade ideas and review. Let me just quickly go through this one here. Okay, now, um, so the cost fee is 100% fully refunded. All right, the promotion is until 30th of December. What you have to do is you just have to apply for a um, Blueberry account. Okay, so if you have already a Blueberry account, don't worry, talk to your um, account manager, which I'm going to just give it to you here later on and then in the website as well. Um, and you can apply with that and you just have to fund 5,000. This 5,000 is withdrawable, all right? Then trade one standard loss. Okay, for those who are trading, you know what is one standard lot. That's very easy to fill. And once we've done that, the $700 cash will be put inside your account. Okay, I repeat that. You just have to open an account or if you have existing Blueberry, talk to the Blueberry guys to say that, hey, look, Beanie told me that there's this offer here. All right, I want to get it. So fund 5,000, you can withdraw this money and then trade one lot. Right, the seven hundred dollars cash would be fully refunded. Okay, so I don't think that they ever give such a good deal. All right, because I have been friends with Blueberry for a long, long time. When they first started, um, you know, um, that that was where I I know the the MD, which is Dean High, and then Ben Claire. We we worked for a long, long time already. So that's where they're offering the seven hundred dollars cash, which means that the the cost fee is 700 they are giving you the cash of the cost fee all right so a few questions quickly um can i renew the alien room let's say after 12 months because you know your use of the indicator is 12 months yes you can and that's at 576 dollars uh, singapore dollar all right so must i pay the cost fee first yes you need to all right because they're going to look at the receipt of the cost fee to pay you that 700 dollars is it suitable for newbies? I think totally yes, all right? 
Okay, so here we go. So this is the link where you can do few things. Number one, get the trial. I understand that you don't, you are using MT4, but for Blueberry, we are giving out the MT5. Okay, so you can just register an account with Blueberry demo account, right? It's included in the website already. So go to the website where you can download that free trial is an MT5. All right, so if you really need the MT4, let me know. All right, so I'm just going to send it to you or maybe just um, uh, 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 make it available if everybody is using MT4, all right? Um, in the website where you can fill in the names, etc., you can register for the free module, okay? And lastly, I have another one more session, which we're going to talk about live trades. Uh, this is something that I will always constantly do to make sure that people I've talked to fully understand the use of Tor V3, okay? Um, the Tor V3 trial will be until 30th of November. So I want to make sure that you fully understand how to use it so that you don't misuse it. So therefore, I'll be running and one more session of Zoom on 29th of November, okay? Um, wow, well, okay. If you need MT4, what I'm going to do is that please go to the website, Okay, use the link to download so that your name get inside. And then once your name get inside, we will just send you the MT4 version. How about that? All right. So if you don't put in your name, we can't send it to you. Right. And if you need any further contacts, so your, your Blueberry contact will be david.spring at blueberry.com. He will know about this promotion. All right. Okay, so same thing. Let's talk about uh, if you have anything that you need to contact me. So this will be the contact information. It's in that email uh, in, in this link here. Let me just sh share it with you. And then we talk about other things. Okay, so this is the page here. All right, so this page, please fill in your name. All right, and then fill in your email. Click I'm not a robot. And then click grab and we, you're going to have your your email that was sent to you that gives you the MT5 version and the download link for the demo version, okay? All right, okay, then next one. Uh, so head to the website right now so that you can get it. Uh, same thing if you need MT4, I need you guys to just put it in so that I can send it to you, right? Okay, here we go. Um, just gonna share with you a little bit about the tricks today. So this would be the tricks today. So that's Bitcoin. All right, so when you see this um, red color arrow here, all right, so this is what V3 is plotting, the one that we are giving out as a free trial, okay? V3 is plotting this wash and rinse here. So therefore, once you get V3, you know that this trade is showing a wash and rinse, all right? The only thing that you don't have is you don't have what and how we are getting in. You don't have all these boxes, which you need to. You don't have all these lines, and then you don't know how to trigger. So that will be under module two. Okay, so let's take a look at the recent trades that we have. So this is a dashboard. So this dashboard will monitor all the trades that we are you know, interested in. All right, so um, take a look at the yellow color here. So take a look at the yellow color here. So as I said, right, we are trading every four hours. Take a look at the yellow color here. So we had a pound cat buy trade seven hours ago, seven hours and 13 minutes ago. Then we're going to have a pound kiwi that happened seven hours, um, 30 minutes ago. All right. Um, so you will keep updating and you would, uh, you know, keep on refreshing like what you're seeing right now. Okay. So with this, we can zoom in to look at whether pound qualifies for buy trade. And in fact, that we had a pound dollar buy uh, a much earlier, and then we're going to have a pound sing buy, and then, of course, um, uh, just recently pound Aussie buy, okay? So let's take a look at one of the trades that we did, or rather I did, which is pound cat. Okay, here we go. Just, uh, let me just clean up a little bit. Okay, so... Day chart. Okay, I can't expand for you already because that's the maximum I can do. But let me just ask you a question. All right, what do you see here? This one. I mean, this is a live trades, right? So this is a live. So uh, there's nothing I, I mean, uh, I know already because uh, I don't know what's going to happen tomorrow. But I'm just going to ask you, what, what is this? 
Do you think that this is a washed? No idea? Okay, now, um, well, long of obviously is here, but you see that this down bar here, all right? Um, I'm able to draw what we call a wash line. So, so that's the wash line here, all right? So price had a slight close below the previous low, okay? Um, today, you probably won't see that plot that's gonna happen in uh, V3 because V3 is gonna show you at the end of the day. So perhaps tomorrow V3 might point to a, um, uh, a green arrow uh, on um, tomorrow, okay? But what we did just now at seven hours ago was that we entered a long trade, okay? So where is seven hours ago, all right? So seven hours ago was this one. So that's our entry. So we entered here. Uh, I'm not sure whether we have students from my class, but then you can see that the entry was here very nicely and then it exploded upwards. So that was our trade, all right? Anybody entered on this one? So we had um, Pao Long and then we had Pao Kiwi Long as well, okay? And then um, later on, we had Pao Aussie Long, but earlier we already had Pao Dollar Long. Okay, so that was our entry. Now, if you take a look at what happened, for example, to pound dollar long, let me just show that to you. Okay, so this was a pound dollar long, right? So that was a long down bar here. Okay, so we call this a wash. Okay, so that is a W, all right? And then when it rings back up like this, so that's a rinse. And for us, we entered somewhere around here without the close and that's the profit and we're just waiting for it to happen. Okay, so now go and take uh, V3 because V3 uh, can give you all this wash and rinse very clearly. All right, so as I explained, uh, we're gonna use it in line with the trend. So if you can just use it uh, for some wash and rinse activity and to understand why wash and rinse is happening, um, you know, uh, in, in our trades, in our charts, all right? So any questions before I end the session? Okay, there's one question on the win loss percentage. Can we expect on the average, right? Well, um, this is actually not uh, something that we wanna consider because for wash and wins, we, we consider a lot on the um, uh, uh, ratios, which is the reward to risk ratios, all right? So for example, uh, when we, uh, lose, all right, our loss is actually very tight, all right, and the uh, reward is actually a lot, okay, all right, so the, the, the reward to risk ratio based on what? Uh, what, I mean, I don't understand this question. Okay, so for example, let me just show you the recent pound cap trade that I did. Actually, there was two trades that happened. Uh, one is pound kiwi, all right, the other one was uh, pound cat. Okay, so if you take a look at this alert here, okay, seven hours ago, pound kiwi, the other one was pound cat, all right? So that's the two trades that pop up uh, seven hours ago. So if you take a look at pound kiwi, all right, so this was the trade. Um, obviously, pound kiwi entered into some support here, so given by V3, okay? So slightly, there was a bit of a wash here. Can you see that? Okay, maybe you can't see that, but it's okay. Once we go into the lower time frame, we would be going into the H4. All right, so there was um, a bit of the wash here, so we identified that. So our entry was around here, okay? All right, so when, when this happened, the stop loss would be here. So that's your stop loss that's gonna have. Okay, so anything that's above would be our reward, which we, we haven't uh, exited this trade yet. I uh, talk about exit already, but some of the students probably haven't exited this trade. So this is the reward to reason that we are talking about. All right, so usually when a trade happens, it's going to be very explosive. Okay, so we, we're going to upload the recording of this webinar up into uh, YouTube. 
right? So that you can review this later on, right? So this, this is um, wash and rinse, it's how we trade, but it will be good to just give it a try. That means to look at V3, to look at it and understand wash and rinse. Even if you don't take up the course, it's fine. At least to know that there are things called wash and rinse in the world. The brokers are not purposely flushing your stocks. It's because all these magical things will happen at key levels, right? And with automations, with, with that tools that are being put in to specially stop out people, to trick people, to trap people. So we counter it by trading the reverse side. So no amount of stop loss would help, right? Unless that you can trade after it has happened. Okay, all right. So let me just flash um, the place to get your, you know, um, free tour, right? So this is the place here. So free tour six, huh? I'm just going to put it up here and then going to end the session, going to load that uh, video up for uh, Blueberry, all right? So you, you need to get an account because the free tour will only work I mean, the trial version can only work in a Blueberry account, okay? Whether it's demo or live, all right? And the good deal is that just to, just to, just to I mean, if you want, just think of it as selling the course, all right? Um, just go and take the free module, right? So this is the free module, take it, all right? Uh, this one here, take it the free module. Okay, so understand what it's wash and rinse fully about. And if you want to know everything, all right, then you pay $700. Anyway, the $700 will be fully refunded to you once you can meet this criteria here, this one. Okay, any last questions before I end the session? Okay, great. Thanks a lot for joining. All right, I'm sorry for this uh, technical issue. I think there was an issue with the setup of the streaming link. All right, but in any case, uh, it's good to talk to you. Right? If you need to contact me, you can contact me. But if you want to get the MT4 version, please fill in the form first so that we can send it to you. All right, otherwise, I have no way to contact back to you, right? So I need you to fill in the form. Then I can send it to you so that you can get the MT4 version. Can? Okay, and thanks a lot. I'll see you again. Good night. Bye-bye.